what's up you guys it's your boy Delft, and welcome back to another video and today i will be ranting on this game you can see the title of the video i'm not gonna try to pronounce it because i'll butcher the hell out of it but i wanted to rant on this game right because i had an opportunity to play this game and i was bored out of my mind so this game was on my most anticipated games of 2024 list and after playing this game i immediately took that video down because i'll be damned if i keep this game on that list i was thinking about making a updated video my most anticipated games of this year but i didn't see the point because we're already into the year so this game was so painfully boring i had to force myself to stay awake while playing it social media links are in the description if i remember so here's the thing my guy yohane that's what I'll be referring the game to for the rest of this video. Yohane, let me start with graphics and work my way up. This game, I would say it was a disappointment because I did put it on my most anticipated list. But, I mean, I got the chance to soften the blow. So, I don't know, man. I would say it's a disappointment. But, let me start with graphics and work my way up. Graphics, crisp, gorgeous graphics. What I love about Dragon Ball Z Kakarot and that's the only anime game I can come up with off the top of my head that looks that great. Crisp, gorgeous, beautiful graphics. But once again, bro, you can make a pile of shit look good, but it'll still be a pile of shit. So like I always say on this channel, bro, graphics are a visual thing. So I'm going to just say graphics are gorgeous. They're crisp, gorgeous anime art style i love that all right as much as i hate genshin impact genshin impact as much as i hate persona 5 persona 5 this game right here has gorgeous graphics every time i boot up this game it is jaw dropping so graphics are a visual thing so i can only leave it there bro can't speak no more on that but the characters look great um the environments and everything look wonderful so I'm going to just go off on this game, all right? Now, keep in mind, this is subjective because I know a lot of people out there might not care. So, to me, this game is so goddamn dry. It is. Same thing with Infinity Strash, The Adventure of Die, that Dragon Quest game. Same thing with that game, bro. This game is going to be dry as hell, too. Okay? I don't care if they're charging... 40 50 60 dollars for this game a game should not be that dry this game bro you're about to go from battle to battle to battle from a goddamn menu you feel me where's the exploration where's the potential to the game where's the content like like what is this game what is it it's so dry and bland it is like you can put this on a sheet of paper right you know that saying, it sounds good on paper, but there's nothing on that paper. I, like, come on, man. Everything is happening from a menu. Everything. Oh, you can eat or you can change your deck on this menu. No exploration, no potential. There's no life to the game. No content to the game. Nothing to the game, bruh. nothing oh change your card deck some of these characters there's nothing to the game it's bland dry it's so amazing right games like this makes me so grateful to be a jrpg fan i could go play other jrpgs and say fuck this game but um 
games like One Piece Odyssey, Artillery Horizon 3, um, those are the only two I can come up with off the top of my head. Games that have life to it, potential to it. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying you have to make JRPGs like that. I'm just saying add some life to your game. Add some potential, some content to your game. This game was just bare bones. It was, my guy. Now, let's go to the gameplay. Now, the gameplay, this is another generic-ass turn base. I, you go down here, you pick a card, and you can like summon characters to give you special abilities while doing some of the most generic upon generic attacks, some of the most blandest animations I have ever seen. And that's why I've been watching like first impression videos on this game and stuff like that. That's why people want you to get into the animation and all this and that. People want you to get into, you know, all this other shit. Where's my gameplay at? But yeah, man, this was going to be a short rant. I, I'm going to leave it there, man. Just a generic turn base. Nothing new to the turn base, my guy. Uh, you just go down here. You pick cards. Attack. Guard. Uh, character ability. Attack. Guard. Character ability. But it's like, that. that's it. That's it. You, you're adding nothing new to the game. You're adding nothing special to your game. Your game is just bland, bare bones, like that Dragon Quest Infinity Strash, The Adventure of Die. I hate bland-ass, generic-ass games like this, bro. Shout out to the JRPGs that, wanna, that wants to expand. You feel me? I give this game, bro, a 0 out of 10. I said, no, you know what? Uh uh, fuck that. A negative 10 out of 10. This game was so boring, it, it just ruined my whole mood. So, there was nothing special to the game. Just go from turn based battle to turn based battle to turn based battle from a goddamn menu. From a menu. It was so boring. Do everything from a menu. 
rest um, build your deck from a menu fuck this game my guy fuck it